Victoria Van Curren Swell is set to release her fourth album Friday night at the McPherson Playhouse. Hey, you know, since breaking into the scene six or seven years ago here in Victoria, they started out playing backyard parties and beaches and then packing local clubs and gaining uh, international attention very quickly. They've matured physically and musically. You see, they actually really started out as children. I'm David Lennon for The Daily. Curren Swell's new album is called Long Time Ago. The sound maybe a little bit different for them. Maybe a departure. Here's a taste. You be the judge. Here's Brad's song. Don't get on his best. I think this is the evolution of the band. This is like the next step. It's not a departure at all. I think this is what the band has become over time. Yeah, and it, who knows what happens. Like, it's just, it could be what we were going through during the writing process of this album. Like, and you know, like a lot of people say that, oh, it's got a, dark, a darker tone to it and a more, you know, like we, we probably have a reputation somewhat for ha like being a summery kind of happy band. We were kids when we were writing about drinking booze and there's so, only so many songs you can <laughs> write about drinking booze, right? And it <laughs> turns out I keep on writing them. But <laughs> <laughs> like I find when someone's like, so what kind of music are you? It's like, well, folk, rock, blues, a little bit of reggae. Well, like, you know, it's just... Somebody will put in the sublime or the surf rock kind of thing in there anyway. Yeah. You know, but we, uh, we, We've read a couple of reviews lately that say, like, this band is known as a surf rock band, but this doesn't sound surf rock to me at all. And it's like, oh, that's nice to hear, kind of, because it's not something we went for. I guess it just kind of happened that way, in a way. Like, but you guys like to surf, that said. Uh, I like to surf. There's a couple people in the band that like to surf, and um, I think that's when I got my stoke for surfing is probably when the band started, and so we were, pr like, very very much, like, you know, like, oh, current swell. I don't even know how the name happened. I don't remember who did it it just it just a friend of ours made a website and it said band name here at the top and then you didn't call yourselves band name here yeah right? exactly <laughs> that wouldn't have been good free beer would have been good well, i can't predict our future but you ain't gonna use you when our present is where we'll back oh what does the brazil tour happen soon or? soon oh, yeah. soon yeah it's our biggest one of our biggest goals because we have seen such a response so we want to definitely make our way there you know in the pantheon of great Victoria bands, just how popular are Current Swell? If you look at this chart, I've put money on a vertical and time on a horizontal. We start off, we've got Georgia Murray, Vince Vicar, keep on. You know the jets overhead peaking at the top of the money and fame chart? It's a steep, perilous descent down to the bottom, going through David Foster right down to Ian Tyson. Well, using the scientifically proven exacting method, we've asked Current Swell to chart their own popularity. I, I'd say anywhere in between, like, is that how you make that symbol? This area? Yeah. Yeah. C or SC. I'm going to put it about right, pretty close. Anyone you want to add? Feel free to add somebody if you want. Put I'm, John and Roy right yeah, in here. Yeah, I was going to say. John and Roy, yeah. J and R. Nice. Um, what else is there? That'd be really good. Album release for Current Swell. They're playing the Mac on Friday night. Local heroes Aiden Knight and John Middleton join them. And hey, if you haven't heard, Shaw's bringing back its arts and entertainment show. The weekly show will re-debut, I guess you can call that, uh, December 1st. Email me now. Tell me if you want to be on the show. Tell me your ideas for the show. I'd love to hear from you. In Victoria, for The Daily, I'm David Lenham.